Hello everyone, welcome back to I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist, our 50th episode on it if you can believe it. Now today is, with very fortuitous timing, uh, going to be a very special episode because we are going to be getting two different endings in one go. So, this is the one we've been leading up to for a few lives now. We have to do some very specific things here to get it to work properly. So as always, we will kind of just skip through the opening dream. Because none of it matters. Past your first viewing. Om nom nom creature is on my face, om nom. After this, I think the only special endings we have to get are bad endings or things to do with, like, running off to join the gardeners or just running away with dice. There's an ending where we run away with dice, an ending where we join the gardeners, and... Um... I think that's mostly it. I think this is randomized each time, because when I did the, um, the last life, the sliders were like, this one was to here, and this one was to, like, here. Alright, so... This one doesn't matter. Technically, none of it really matters, but we'll take the learning tablet. And we need to take the ship engineering manuals as our child bedtime story. Forget fiction, you're strangely drawn to the diagrams and equations in a manual that accidentally found its way into the shelf of the kids' books. You spend hours divining the meaning behind these cryptic pictures. Your dad tries to explain them to the best of his abilities. This one doesn't matter, but it's going to take calm temperament because it's always a good one to have. And congruence needs to be our childhood friend. By the time you're eight, you spend more time talking to the ship's computer than others your age. Gruens is awesome. You just seem to know some things about her, without understanding why. Like how to ask nicely for her to treat you like one of the adults, unlocking commands that the other kids don't even know exist. It's a trick you do, a string of numbers and letters recited in a whisper, a secret language between you and her alone. The Root Access Kernel Code. Okay, we've reached the wormhole. We gotta go recalibrate the shields. Enter the code. Congruence agrees to help you because you are her friend and because you know her favorite string of letters and numbers. Access code accepted, she says. Please enter the ship shield calibration parameters. You spent your childhood studying the ship's design and still have that old manual from your second birthday. Give congruence to command. Now, I believe it's wording it differently than what I'm used to, but I believe this one is going to be put the shields at full strength, which means we stop having food problems. This one is to lower the shields completely, which will lead to our first ending. And this one is where it would normally be. Yeah. So we're going to let the radiation through completely. You give the command to lower the shields and destroy the ship. Trusting you, Congruence does as she's told. You feel the wormhole begin to stretch and warp your reality as the ship lets out a horrible groaning noise. The sirens begin to ring, but it's too late. The nuclear reactors and engineering explode first, claiming you as the first casualty. In the instant before your painful death, you feel reality snap back into place as the wormhole collapses around you. You die, along with everyone you've ever known. Yay! The wormhole is closed forever. Stratospheric destroyed right in the heart of the wormhole, which I guess is not good for the wormhole's overall health and well-being. 
Something is different. You've died before, countless times. But this feels wrong. Where is the ancient you? Where is... Roll the credits. Start your new life. Music fades away. And let's just get in there. Wake up? Question mark. You were born on Earth in the Vertumna compound. Good old Earth. You're a sensible, focused child. Maybe a little too sensible. Your dad jokes as he tries to inspire you with fantastic tales of adventure. Your childhood is peaceful, but as you and your friends grow older, you begin to realize that life outside the compound is brutal and short for most. Nuclear war, climate change, pollution, and mass extinctions have rendered the planet inhospitable long before you were born. Only the rich live in comfort. The rich, and those who live in communal enclaves like yours. Your compound is self-sufficient, which makes it a target for refugees, raiders, and, as you grow older, quasi-governmental militias. Your mother is killed defending the compound when you're only ten years old. Your father, a botanist, is never quite the same after that. Sometimes he talks about leaving Earth. But where would you even go? There's nothing out there. No known habitable planets. Nowhere you could possibly make a home. The moon and Mars are barren and abandoned. Their atmosphere is even more toxic than Earth's. Past that, there's just space. Still, tonight, you sit on a grassy green bluff and gaze wistfully at the stars. Somewhere in the distance, you hear the raid siren begin its mournful call. You pick up your rifle and report to the breach to defend your compound from the outside world. Oh wow, that was rather short. I expected that to be longer. We got an achievement, Life on Earth. This doesn't feel right. God, if I'd known these were both so short, I would have just included them with... Uh last episode damn life on earth life in the vertumna compound was never going to be easy but your parents tried their best to protect you eventually the compound is overrun by despite is overrun by desperate refugees not that different from yourselves you died defending the only home you've ever known on earth This adds Saul, or Garrett as we've been calling him, to the uh, title screen. So that's cool. Now when we jump in, again, really? Oh, you don't like this ending to your story, do you? It's not epic enough for you. A familiar face holds the strands of fate in their wizened hand. We probably shouldn't have blown up that wormhole, hmm? Without the wormhole, our adventure is over before it's begun. No space travel, no wormhole accident, no ancient secrets. It's terribly dull. On the other hand, Vertumna is free from human interference, they sigh, in every timeline. Can we undestroy the wormhole? The Elder hums the discordant sound of many voices forming the same sound. Okay, they say, after a few moments of contemplation. Perhaps we have unfinished business on Vertumna. Hold on, this might sting a bit. And dumps us straight back into it. Cool, cool. Okay, we'll get out of here again. And title card. Alright. Well, damn, I didn't have anything planned for today's episode more than that, but we've only been going for ten minutes. Last episode was kind of short, and this one will definitely be shorter, but that's okay. 
Can I save here? I cannot. Alright, well, we'll get through Care Gem. Yeah, see, it's different than what it was on the last one. What ending are we going to go for next? We've still got lots to get. Okay. One of the endings we have to get is the one where you manage to negotiate peace between the gardeners and the humans. Um, we're going to have to befriend Sim, which is fine. Um, and then either Mars or us need to be the governor, so we're going to have to go through the governor stuff again. Uh, might as well set Mars up for that one. And we have to make it all the way to the end, which makes sense because we overthrew the governor in the last year. So that's the ending we're probably going to go for next. Um, I imagine we can probably... Can I save here? I can't. You know what? That's fine. We can always just start from there next time. We might see the same lines again, but we'll skip through it. Um, yeah, so I guess next time we're going to go through and broker peace. Uh, honestly, EXO videos might get a lot shorter from here on out, because there's really no sense in showing you guys all the exact same stuff every time. And a lot of the paths are very similar to what we've done. I do want to get some more romances, so the fact that we're going to live to year 20, I'll probably try and romance Tammy this next life. So we're going to need to focus friendship on Mars, Tammy, and um, Sim. Sim's not hard, though, so we just need to make sure we're doing some explorations here and there. Um, yeah. So I'll probably cut out, similar to last episode, I'll probably cut out most of the life of next episode, of next life. Might still take us a few episodes to get through to the end. Um, we'll see. It's, it, it's, it's a long recording session to even just speed run my way through life especially if there's exploring involved I do want to get all the endings on the channel though I might honestly try and do that off camera I don't know we'll see how it goes I do definitely appreciate comments down below letting me know what you guys would like to see in that regard but otherwise for now we're gonna leave it off here for today thank you to everyone for joining me I hope you had fun don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all the stuff we have coming up on the channel. And I will see you next time for some more I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist. Bye-bye.